Hello ladies and gentlemen, today is current affairs too. Now, let's start where uh, I'm currently at, the United Kingdom. So, Keir Starmer only been in charge for under three months, right? I don't like him. I never did. So, he campaigned uh, as a normal person, not a politician, understanding all the problems and um, uh, and being a son of a toolmaker. Right, well, now he's doing the exact opposite of what he criticised. He's going to Taylor Swift concerts, to Arsenal matches, which I don't think normal people do. And then, uh, and then he's getting designer clothes, which is a bit weird. Um, then uh, his uh, ratings already are lower than Rishi Sunak's, who he criticised himself. And ever since he uh, came in Prime Minister, the disapproval has risen. And uh, they're so bad, that they're, they're close to Liz Truss, which is not good, not good. Uh, now we have the leader of the opposition, Rishi Sunak. He is stepping down and there are four left. There were six, Pretty Patel and Maelstrom. Can I just go on the record? Pretty Patel, she's, abs she's an absolute joke. Pretty Patel, she uh, got, uh, when she was, uh, when Theresa May was in charge, she got sacked for having a secret meeting with uh, the Prime Minister of Israel, which is very strange, why right? didn't she tell her party about it? Then she, um, uh, Boris Johnson rehired her, and then she got sacked for bullying her own staff, which is absolutely abysmal. So I'm glad she's gone. Uh, and uh, then there is Robert Jenrick, James Cleverly, Kemi Badenoch, and Tom Tuganat. James Cleverly and Jenrick, they're okay. They're nothing special. Like um, Then there is... Uh, Tugendhat, I like him, he's my favourite option, he has a sense of humour but he's very uh, on top of point and uh, yeah, uh, I I think that he'd make a great leader. Um, then we've got um, Kemi Badenok here, uh, she, uh, she's too right, you know, like for, for me, right would be here, but for you guys, it would probably be... Okay, so she's, like, out of the screen, right? She is right. So, like, nah, I don't want that. And so, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, don't get me wrong, getting, uh, having a, a Christian uh, Prime Minister, a Muslim man, and a woman of colour to be a leader of opposition would be great. Um... But you shouldn't just vote for her because of that. You have to vote for her if you like her. Um, next, I have... What have we got? Oh, yeah, AJ Dubois. Nah, bro. England's sweet, England sweetheart, he got demolished. He got demolished by Dubois. I mean, after that first round hit, I don't think he completely recovered, which was... Uh, a bit, yeah. The bar, he's actually pretty good. Oh, I, I saw his little brother, I think, on the screen. He was so happy holding his belt as if he won it. But, yeah. I, I stayed up like I was thinking, oh, it'll go to the end. Fourth round, Joshua's done. He's too old now. I don't know. I've heard something about him fighting Fury or something like that. Zero chance, bro. Uh, zero chance, like, I don't think so. And then there's, uh, yeah, they're both washed, I think. They're, they're both not as good after, uh, yeah, after the beating, uh, um, Fury got to, Fury, uh, Fury got to Usyk, he can't, I don't think he'll recover from it. Um, oh yeah, and then there was the presidential debate in America, which was like four weeks ago now, I think. And yeah, um, Trump, he's a joke. 
Mike is a joke. I would have liked him to win, but not anymore. Like, he's so dishonest. That, and plus, you don't know, he might be killed by the time the election results are in. Um, he's not honestly. He literally said people in Springfield are eating dogs and cats. What sort of nonsense is that? I'm lost for words, literally. So, yeah. Oh. Beg your pardon, uh, just a bit tired this morning. Anyways, guys, see you in the next one.